Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to quickly and easily apply camera shake effect to your videos using Shotcut Editor. So here I have the video added to playlist in Shotcut. I'm going to drag and drop this video to the video track one here in Timeline. Now I'm going to play this clip and see how it looks with no camera shake effect. Okay, so this is the original video. And now if we want to apply camera shake on this video, Let's first of all find the point in time where we want the camera shake to start. So in this example, it would be the point where guy touches the ground. So at this point in time here. Next, navigate here and click on the button split at playhead. Okay, so now we have split this section here. Then move the playhead just a bit further in time. Let's say this much and again split the clip at playhead all right so now we have separated these clips this is section one the middle section and the last section so select this middle section here navigate to filters click on the plus button and find the filter called size position and rotate now select that filter and here in preset Open this drop down menu and select shake one second scaled. Now, if we replay this clip, we should be able to see a camera shake on this part of the video here. And that's it. As you can see, we have just applied camera shake effect. Now, if you want the camera shake to last a bit longer than this, and as you can see, uh, this size position and rotate preset says shake one second. So what you can do is just go through the clip and split your clip every second and just keep applying that same filter. So now I have split this section here, go back to filters, apply the same size position and rotate filter, same preset, shake one second scaled. And now if I replay this again, you'll see that the camera shake is going to happen not just here, but will continue throughout this section here as well. Okay, and this is how you can prolong camera shake on your clips. And that's it, guys. I hope this was useful. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next tutorial.